everyone, welcome to the grammar video course. I'm Spring. This time, let's take a look at new grammar point. General questions. There are two types of general questions. Ma question and na question. First, let's take a look at ma question. Look at this sentence. I'm a teacher. How to say that in Chinese? 我是老师 Then, how about this question? Are you a teacher? This is asking the simple yes or no answer. So, how do you ask this question? It's important to ask the questions like this in Chinese because you want to be able to confirm with another person whether your assumptions are correct. So, in Chinese, is 你是老师吗? This type of sentence is easy. Different from English, we don't need to change the positions of the subject and the verbs, like I am, are you? We just change the subject from 我, I, to 你, you, and then add a question mark ma in the end. So remember, ma is a yes or no simple question mark. Let's take a look at another example. Look at this sentence. I'm Chinese. 我是中国人. How do you ask, are you Chinese? Remember, we don't need to change the positions of subject and verbs. Just change the subject, 我, I to ni you and then plus the question mark ma in the end so ni shi ma now we can know that ma is a yes or no question mark so when someone asks questions like ni shi are you chinese or ni shi are you a teacher you can just answer yes or no. Let me give you other examples. First one, 明天是星期天吗? Is tomorrow Sunday? 这是你的朋友吗? Is this your friend? 明天你去学校吗? Are you going to school tomorrow? 你想买个新手机吗? Do you want to buy a new phone? In this part, I want to emphasize on how to answer this yes or no question. Look at these two examples. 明天是星期天吗? Is tomorrow Sunday? 这是你的朋友吗? Is this your friend? The verbs in these two sentences are both Shi. So when you answer this kind of sentence, you can just say shi for the negative answer. Bu shi. Okay, as two examples. Ming tian ni chi xue xiao ma? Are you going to school tomorrow? Ni xiang mai ge xin shou ji ma? Do you want to buy a new phone? The verbs in these two sentences are qu and xiang. So when you answer this kind of sentence, you can just say qu, I'm going to, or xiang, I want to. And the negative answers can be bu qu, I won't go, bu xiang, I don't want to. Now let's talk something about the second general question, na question. There are two types of no question. Let's look at the first one. Look at this sentence. I'm a teacher. What about you? What about? Here means what do you do? What's your job? But you don't want to repeat whole questions again, right? Like you don't want to say I'm a teacher. Are you a teacher? You don't have to repeat the question, but just simply say what about? 
So, how do you express what about in Chinese? In fact, what about in Chinese is quite easy. 我是老师,你呢? So, what about can be expressed with 呢? Quite easy. Just add 呢 in the end of the question. Okay, another example. Look at this sentence. Dad is at home. How about mom? Here, how about means where is mom, right? So, how do you ask this question? Yes, we use 呢? 爸爸在家,妈妈呢? So, if there is a previous description at the beginning and you want to ask what about the situation or location of someone else or something else, you can use this kind of sentence structure. A previous description and then noun or pronoun or noun phrase plus na in the end. Now, let me give you some examples. First one, 我想吃饺子,你呢? I want to eat dumplings. What about you? 玛丽长得像她妈妈. 玛丽的姐姐呢? Mary looks like her mom. How about Mary's sister? 这本书很不错. 那本书呢? This book is very good. How about that one? 北京的房价很贵,上海呢? The housing price in Beijing is quite expensive. How about Shanghai? Here, I want to emphasize on one thing, that is, if there is no previous description in this sentence, just a noun or pronoun or noun phrase plus na question. For example, 我的书呢? What does that mean? Okay. Remember, if there is no previous description, this kind of question is asking only location, like where is. So, 我的书呢? means where is my book? 小明呢? means where is 小明? 我的小猫呢? Where is my little cat? 我的钱包呢? Where is my wallet? Next, let's talk something about second type of na question. Look at this sentence. What color do you like? 你喜欢什么颜色? But if I want to say, I wonder what color do you like? How do I speak this in Chinese? Now, let's take a look at a different way of asking questions that expresses curiosity. That is, 你喜欢什么颜色呢? So remember, 呢 expresses curiosity, like saying, I wonder. Another example. Look at this sentence. Who is your new teacher? 你的新老师? So, can you tell me how to say, I wonder who is your new teacher in Chinese? Yes, good. We need to use na question. That is, 你的新老师是谁呢? So, if you want to express, I wonder, and you want to ask a question with a relaxed tone, you can use this kind of sentence structure. A complete question in front, and then add n in the end. Some examples here. First one, 你在看什么书呢? I wonder what book are you reading? 哪个是你的家呢? I wonder which one is your house? 你是哪国人呢? I wonder what's your nationality. 
多少钱呢 ？I wonder how much is this clothes. Okay, after this lesson, let's do some practice. You compose it and do them by yourself first. Okay, now let's do them together. Practice one. Choose A, M, or B, N to fill in the blanks. First one. 你有时间 This question obviously is asking, "Do you have time?" You can just answer yes or no, right? So this one is a simple question. We put yes, ma here. 你有时间吗 Do you have time? The second one. 我的手机 My phone. It's only a noun phrase, right? So we just put n here, and there is no previous description. So this question is only asking location. So it means where is my phone? Next one. 昨天下雨了 This one is a simple question, right? It means did it rain yesterday? You can just answer yes or no. So we put A. 昨天下雨了吗 Last one. 他不去了你 He won't go there. How about you? So how to express how about? We put B. N here. 他不去了你呢 Practice two, complete dialogues. First one, 你喝咖啡 This question is asking, do you drink coffee? It's a yes or no simple question, right? So what's the question mark? Yes. 吗？你喝咖啡吗 ？Do you drink coffee? How do you give a negative answer? Yes. Plus a verb. So the answer is, 不喝，谢谢。No thanks. Next one. 我喜欢看电影。你？我不喜欢。Because the answer is, I don't like. So the question should be, How about you, right? So how to express how about in Chinese? Yes. 呢？我喜欢看电影。你呢 ？I like watching movie. How about you? 我不喜欢。I don't like it. Now let me give you a summary. In today's lesson, we learned two types of general questions. First one is ma question. Ma is a yes or no simple question mark. So you can just answer yes or no. Second is n question. There are two types of n question. First one, n expresses how about, and the sentence structure is a previous description at the beginning, and use n to ask in the end of the question. Second one, n expresses curiosity. It's like saying, "I wonder." So the question structure is a complete question in front, and then plus n. Okay, that's all about our lesson today. Hope it could help you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.